Hi friends, welcome back to Angular Crude application tutorial with the JSON server as a bracket. Okay, so this is the fourth video of this series, and we already set up the project. So here we can see the project is running, and uh, we install the JSON server. So if you just go my file, there is a database, and this is db.json will use this json file as a server so if you don't know how to install and set up json server and how to create angular project i recommend you please see the full series from the beginning the link is provided in the description section today we'll first create api for the student listing right so we'll create a list page with the json data right so if you just go my server page so this is the db.json so just open so this is the db.json that will be used as our server so here i want to create the students array so right here students and the id is one okay the name so right here name so name is suppose student one and the email so email is student one at the rate email dot com and the same way we'll create another two so just go and paste right so the id will be the two and id 3 and here write student 2 and student 3 same the email will be the student 1 and student 2 3 right so these are ready now if you just start our server so just go to the page so where is my database so just go back and cd the database actually my json database inside this database under db.json so i need to watch this now to start the server write json server and we need to use watch and which will be the file name that is db.json okay so now you can see the server is started so now if you just go to the link so here you can see the link we can see the students resources added so if you just click on this we can see the data okay so basically this is the api data and we will get this data inside this listing page so just go to the postman so this is my postman we will test how this appearing so just click on this so create new and this is the get url okay so actually get url is very simple so if you can see in the browser we can see in the postman also so just click on send so here we can see the three records okay so now we will add these three records inside this listing page okay so for this first we will create a service inside angular and from the component we will call the service right so simple so just go to the terminal and create a new service so just write ng g for generate service and suppose service name is students right so just enter this so it will create the service so you can see the service file is created so if you now just go to the visual studio code here you can see inside the app we will get the service.ts right so just ready this service so to use any api links we need to use the http client right so we'll import the http client so basically it will come from the angular so right here angular slash common slash the http right and here we'll just import the model name that is http client right and now we need to call this link so just copy this and here we'll create a private property that is private 
suppose http colon http client right so now i need to create a function to call the listing page means listing api so for get all student list i am creating a function the get all student and here just use this dot http dot get and here we need to pass the url so this is my url right and we will just return this value okay so the service is ready now i need to use a class property that is url so basically i am defining url inside here and we will call from the gate functions right so this is actually the good practice okay so just use the url and paste it here and to use any class property just use this dot url okay so service is ready now we have to call this gate all student from the specific component so for this here for list student we have the list component that is inside the components the list student component okay so just open the typescript file and we will display this result from the html file so just open these two files and here we will call this service functions right so to use this service from this component we need to first import the service so this is the first basic things first we need to use to access anything so just it will come from so right dot dot slash and again we need to go back another folder so this is the student service right so here just use student service okay so service are imported inside our list component right and now just simply use the service so how we can use this so just create a private student okay equal to sorry the colon there is a syntax we need to use students service okay so this is our imported as a student now we need to create a function so here we will create this dot student so which we have just created and the function name that is get all student and we need to subscribe this to call any api we need to subscribe so write subscribe and here we will get all the value so how you can get all value so create a all data so inside here we will get all the data from the service right so just create suppose for now i am just going to console this thing i need to check the data is appearing or not so first i am just consoling the all data so write all data and let's see how it's coming okay so just go to the browser and inspect element right so simply zoom out okay so if we just click on the list student what appearing so there is something error so what is the error so the error is the http clients error so we cannot access the http client from app module so just go to the app module so this is my app module ts and here we will just use the http client module right so write import and just write from at the rate angular slash common slash http right and we'll call the module that is http client module okay so module is imported now we need to import this from the import section right so just so now import it so if you just go to the browser again and click on list student so we are getting the three arrays within 
objects format right so we are getting records inside the list student component dot ts right so we need to pass this data to the list component html file so i am just closing the app module we don't need this now so i need to create a components property suppose here i am creating the student data so just write student data right and suppose student data as we can see this is the object type so write in this way so this is the object type so just define this as object and we will pass the student data to the component dot html so how we can do this so this dot the student data equal to the data we, we are getting from the service right so just click and paste this okay so now if you just go to the list student component we can get access of data from the student data right so now just simply here we can print all those things okay here we need a table to see the records so first here i am writing the student list so let's check how it's appearing so you can see the student list and just go to the get bootstrap.com and here just get started and search any table so i am using sample tables as we are using bootstrap so we can copy this so just i need this type of table so just copy and here just paste all those things right now we don't need all the tier so just removing the tier and here i want to print the value that is email and name so here just modify the column so my column name will be the name email and id so write name and email okay and just go here and check this how it's appearing so if you just go to the browser we can see the one record is coming so this is the static record so basically i need to execute a loop to see all the records which are coming here right so there is three records just create a for loop so write star ng4 and let item of the student data and here just print the id so write item dot sorry item dot id right so if you now just go to the browser so there is error so what is the error so this is the type error so you can see this is the type error so there should be the any type so right here any equal to any type so right so now just go to the browser so we can see the id is added but we need to dynamic the name and email also so same like we will just use these things and paste it here the name and email right so if you just go and we can see the name and email also appearing okay so this is all about the listing page so we can understand how the service is calling and using the service how we can call the apis and we can access from the list component so next day we'll going to learn about how we can add student from angular okay so listing functionality is basically ready so we'll create an action button here so from the action we can delete or we can add the update option right so please comment if you have any queries about this video and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good day.